Hi there, John from MySolarHome.us. This is an updated video on how many solar panels do you actually need in your home? Regardless of where you stay in the United States, this video is gonna give you an easy, almost 90% accurate way of estimating how many solar panels you need in your roof. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to calculate the factor based on which you'll be able to make the calculations of the number of panels. Now this factor is based on the amount of power your solar panels produce. When the sun is shining brightly on a 400 watt solar panel, it's supposed to make 400 watts. But that 400 watts is actually in perfect laboratory conditions. Usually in a really on a really bright sunny day, your panels are going to make something about 370 watts, sometimes around 360, 350. And then supposing a cloud comes across the sun, suddenly, suddenly the production might come down to 100 watts or maybe even lower than that. For example, this 400 watt panel in New Jersey would produce about 480 kilowatt hours of energy in a year. The same panel in California would produce about 600 kilowatt hours a year. And in Alaska, only 380 kilowatt hours of energy. Of course, if you kept them in your basement, they'd make nothing. To calculate the number of solar panels you need, I have devised a factor that you need to use. This factor is based on the production from your solar panels, which I, we just saw. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the factor for your home, your own home address using a brilliant website. So the secret sauce is a website which is run by the National Renewable Energy Laboratories. Uh, that's a government of US website. The website is pvwatts.nrel.gov. So go ahead, type that into your browser and this is the screen which will open up. Now all you need to do is type in your home address. That's it. Type in your home address. Let's say you stay in Texas and we put in the Texas address click on this button and bingo we come to the screen and here we got to do two things change the number on that first field to 10 next go towards the bottom and change that azimuth number to 130 click on the button there and bingo if you see it says 14,144 kilowatt hours and that is your factor for your home in Texas this will work for almost all homes in Texas the factor is 1.4 and and how do you use the factor very easy now to use the factor you need to find how much electric energy you use in a year in your home go look at a recent electric bill in your home you know different companies have different kind of kinds of bills but almost all of them are going to have a graph somewhere or the other in there what you're looking for is your annual usage in kilowatt hours now if you have trouble finding this from your bill call your electric company ask them how much power how much energy did i consume in the last 12 months let's say you find out that your usage in your texas home is 15,500. all you need now is a calculator and here i've got my trusty phone calculator 15,500 is your usage divide that by the factor of 1.414 and now divide it by the size of the panel 400 watts remember by 400 and you come to 27.40. This tells you that you approximately need 28 panels in your home. Depending on your home, where the panels face and on the trees, this could change. But if there are no trees and you have a you have pretty good sun exposure, 27 panels or 28 panels is a good bet for you. I always advise buying one or two more panels just to get you a little bit of extra power. We can do the same thing if your home is in another location. Let's say you have a home in Massachusetts. Go to the website, type in your address, change that to a 10, change the azimuth to 130, click on that button, and you've got the factor there, 12,270. So your factor in Massachusetts is 1.227. And to find out how many panels you need, same thing again. Go back to your trusty calculator. What was your annual usage? Let's say in Massachusetts, your home consumes 7,500 kilowatts hours of power. 7,500 kilowatt hours of power. Divide that by the factor 
it was 1.227 so divide that by 1.227 right and then divide it by the watts of the panel let's say we're using the same 400 watt panels from rec divide that by 400 and 15.28 so for your massachusetts home you would need 15 to 16 panels to produce 7500 kilowatt hours of electricity every year so if your solar executive who's trying to sell you solar is telling you you need 20 panels ask him question why do i need additional panels there might be a reason you might have a lot of trees there might be a lot of shade or the panels are facing the wrong direction when we're talking about 15 or 16 panels we're talking about 15 or 16 panels which face more or less due south east or west if they face north you will need way more panels because north you get much less sunlight let's do this for a home in california right again it's the same thing go to the website type in your address click on the button change that top number to 10 the azimuth to 130 click on the button and you got your factor 15,440 that's 1.544 right Now let's find out how many panels you need for your California home so let's say your usage was 21,500 you divide that by the factor 1.544 now you divide by whatever panels you're planning to buy let's say you're planning to buy a Silfab 370 watt panel and then you divide by the panel size 370 watts and you get 37.63 panels. So in a California home with a usage of about 21,500 kilowatt hours, you'll need about 38 panels. So this is a very easy, accurate way of finding out. Regardless of where you stay, if you're in South Carolina, North Carolina, you're in any state in the US, you can use this. Go to the website, type in your address, follow this process, and you will be able to come out with a pretty good estimate of how many solar panels you need. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe. If you're looking for a so if you're looking for a solar code for your home, write to me at john at mysolarhome.us. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.